What might be the biggest groundbreaking change ever in theme park history took place on July 1st, 2024. Two of the largest and most competitive chains, Six Flags and Cedar Fair, have merged to form the world's largest theme park company, now operating under the name Six Flags. This massive entertainment corporation now owns 42 parks across the United States, Canada, and Mexico. So what changes can we expect moving forward and why might this merger bring more positive outcomes than negative? Stay tuned to find out exactly in this video. I am Katie and welcome to Katie's Coasters. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. And now, let's get into this one. First things first, with the merger and its changes, I'd like to mention the name and new logo and how it may create a stronger brand recognition. As we know, this major theme park company is now operating under the name Six Flags. While the name Six Flags may give a bad taste in some people's mouth, realistically, I think this was the best name decision as it is the most all-around well-known theme park name to the general public. Just think, if you would ask a non-theme park nerd or coaster enthusiast friend if they have ever heard of the name Cedar Fair, chances are they'd say, what is that? Rather than if you ask them about Six Flags. Along with this name change, I am very pleased to see that they formed the Six Flags logo to have the Cedar Fair colors and style. In my opinion, it looks very more professional. Now with this merger, what does it mean for the former Cedar Fair parks? Are they in any danger to be quote unquote brought down? Well, according to the merger details, Cedar Fair has a 2% lead with ownership over Six Flags with this merger deal and is stated that the formerly owned Cedar Fair parks will remain kept in their more prestigious form with this corporation. Now, as for the Six Flags parks go, it seems as they'll become more enhanced in a positive way. Which, let me tell you, that is so exciting. Here are some things about the Six Flags parks that I expect to see in the next few upcoming years. Better overall ride and food service operations, better guest experience, better park presentation, better quality food and merchandise, etc. The list can just go on and on. Not that the merger is any bit bad for the Cedar Fair parks, but I believe that this merger will help raise up the Six Flags parks tremendously. On top of that, a very major way guests could benefit from this merger would be an expanded season pass option. I know so many are anxious about this as it is very likely that there could be one main pass that would provide access to a greater number of parks than ever before across the combined network at a one price option. Not only would this be huge for people like myself and many others as the benefits and convenience this may bring, but also I'm sure for a much cheaper price than buying an all park Six Flags and Cedar Fair Pass like before. With this potential season pass option, I could see pricing to be somewhat similar to SeaWorld and Busch Gardens pricing for their highest tiered Platinum Pass which runs merely for $500 to visit all 12 of their parks. But I'm pretty sure that the new all park Six Flags Pass will be cheaper than this. And hey, I'm all for it. Now, obviously none of these changes will happen right away and I'd say don't expect to see any major changes within the parks in 2024, but in the next following years, as early as possibly 2025, I could definitely predict to see positive changes moving forward. Another benefit of this merger is that it will create economic and financial stability for both companies in the event of a future recession, particularly for Six Flags, as history shows Six Flags has come very close to bankruptcy multiple times. Additionally, with this massive combined company having parks across North America in various locations, it could lead to a larger footprint, potentially allowing for new park locations and expansions in undeserved areas. Furthermore, with both companies now collaborating, this merger should stimulate greater innovation, enabling them to brainstorm and create bigger and better attractions than ever before if they were just operating alone as competitors. So now, with that, I know I just said a lot about what I think on all of this, so I would like to know in the comments below what's your thoughts on the Six Flags and Cedar Fair merger, and which company's parks do you think will be impacted the most from this moving forward. Be sure to let me know below in the comments. I am still half blown away that we are even talking about this merger and that it is now a reality. So now with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a like and also make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. I am Katie from Katie's Coasters. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Peace out everybody.